At 9.20 p.m. on July 11, 2012, Useless County Police responded to a distress call at the home of Shane and Sheila Pottswell. 911, what's up, B? What? Sheila claimed her husband Shane had been missing for two days, but was Shane missing or had Sheila tripped and murdered her husband in cold blood? On May 38, 2012, Sheila Lavars and Shane Pottswell met at Shit Kickers, a country and western bar just outside of San Hedron, Texas. They went home together that night, and according to eyewitness accounts, the next day they were living together. Oh, they just shacked right up. Why well, pay double rent, she said. Sinful. Four weeks later, the two were married. When we began to investigate, we found that they were married. But the honeymoon was soon over. Shortly after the marriage, Sheila discovered Shane was an insatiable lush who was barely able to hold down a job or a meal. Feeling bitter and betrayed, Sheila reached out to her best friend. I just told her, I told you, I told you. That's what I told her. I'm telling you. Shortly afterward, Shane disappeared. The next day, the police received a chilling call. Oh Sick, I don't understand you. Investigators arrived on the scene. The front door was open and Sheila was standing there. But that wasn't all investigators would find. There was a telephone which she had used to call us. At that moment, there was the sound of gunfire. She was watching Law and Order. Where had Shane Pottswell gone? Was it possible that he had been murdered by Sheila in cold blood? It was starting to appear that way, when suddenly a clue turned up, a clue that would break the case wide open. Shane uh, came home about this time. Shane Pottswell had spent the last two days and nights glugging booze and acting the fool. Sheila was angry, but uh, she helped him to the bathroom uh, where he vomited mightily. I, I personally, I would have killed him. I, if that was if that was me, I mean, I, I'd have f***ed him up. Today, Shane and Sheila are still together in that house. Now she got over it. What? Check the screen. We're coming for you.